kick to sport now and it was an absolutely monumental weekend of football and rugby and here to talk us through all the action is the Evening Standard Sports Editor Tim Nichols. Thanks for coming in this morning Tim. Firstly a massive win for Chelsea. A massive win for Chelsea. It was vintage uh, Jose Mourinho, vintage Chelsea. Uh, they've received a lot of criticism notably from the Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers for the way they approach the game. I think it's a little bit naive to expect Chelsea to go to Anfield, where Liverpool have had a fantastic record recently. They've been coming out of the blocks. Um, we saw it against Arsenal and, and Spurs in particular in Manchester City a couple of weeks ago. I think it's naive to think that Chelsea would go there and not try and frustrate Liverpool uh, and let Liverpool play that game. That was never going to happen. Chelsea obviously had quite a few players out with injuries. They've also got the Champions League semi-final on Wednesday night. So I think... They were always going to set up like that and Liverpool had to find a way through. Actually, for Liverpool, a draw wouldn't have been the worst result. The title would still have been in their hands. And so I think you've got to give credit to Chelsea. Um, they've, as I say, they've received a lot of criticism and I think that's a little bit unfair for what is a tremendous result. You know, they've got this uh, Champions League semi against Atletico on Wednesday. Uh, you'd think they'd be have half an eye on that. And they went to Anfield. I mean, Liverpool have won 14 of their last 16 games mm -hmm. in the league. They're unbeaten since uh, Stamford Bridge uh, in December, when they obviously lost to Chelsea. So it was an incredibly good performance and good result for, uh, for Chelsea. Uh, and I think they deserve credit for that. And I think Chelsea will actually be kicking themselves that Manchester City and Liverpool are still the favourites for the title with a couple of games to go. They, they've taken six points off both of those teams. Um, They've taken four points off Arsenal, four points off Manchester United and Spurs as well. So against the top teams, Chelsea have been superb this season. It's against the teams further down the table that they've struggled with. That Crystal Palace loss and Sunderland, of course, absolutely uh, huge in the end. Um, now, looking further down on the, in the table, West Ham, um, who are safe, more or less safe from relegation, uh, but still kind of the fans very much turning on Sam Allardyce. They certainly are. I mean, mathematically, they're not safe just yet, but they, 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 essentially they are. Um, I, the fans have been the growing frustration there for a few weeks. Uh, we saw it when they lost to, against Palace last weekend and uh, there were banners uh, at, uh, at West Brom uh, on Saturday. Uh, it's a difficult one for the owners at West Ham because they were widely praised for sticking with Sam Allardyce um, this season when they had a bad run. All the managers, if you look at all the clubs around West Ham in the league, they've all replaced their managers this season with varying degrees of success. West Ham stuck with Sam. I think he's done a very good job at West Ham so far. He took them straight up to the Premier League in his first season, mid-table last season, 10th position. This season hasn't been great. Um, they've struggled with injuries. Their form hasn't been uh, the best. But I think he, in difficult circumstances, he's done a good job. But the problem for the owners is once the fans start turning on a manager, uh, it becomes very difficult and they will have a big decision to make in the summer. So, um, staying, staying with London clubs, Fulham in trouble, throwing away a, a two-goal lead, which really would have, would have dragged them out of, well, ultimately, it would have put them closer to, to safety. Um, they must be kicking themselves. I think they will be. Um, two nil up at home to Hull, home and dry, huge result for them with two games to go. As it is, they're right back in trouble. Um, they've got two games to get themselves out of it, but um, with the teams above them all having a game in hand, I think it's going to be incredibly difficult for, um, for Fulham now. And uh, I mean, Phyllis McGatt's done a very good job since he went in there, uh, and there's been an upturn in form, but 2 0 up at home in a game that you've got to win and, and to blow it like that, uh, you know, it could be critical for them.